she's an amazing writer, Jane, and you know she's actually amazing structurally at story and at putting those jigsaw pieces together. And it was a relatively um, swift process, actually, um, of about a year on the script before we were ready to take out take it out to market. What is Power of the Dog about? Power of the Dog is based on a beautiful book written in the 60s, which is about a ranch in Montana in the early part of the century and about two brothers, Phil and George. And Phil's life takes a real left turn when his brother unexpectedly brings home a wife and and particularly the wife's quite effeminate young son and really upends the life that Phil has grown to know and love. And it becomes a very taut psychological drama as these four characters' needs and and desires uh, interweave with each other. And it goes in some very unexpected uh, places. You know what? 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 Phil? Now, you see, you did it. You called me Phil. So two seasons of Top of the Lake, you've worked with Jane Campion before on that. Uh, and now with this, what do you enjoy about that collaboration? Well, Jane is, yes, she is a life-changing sort of director in terms of the relationship of working with her. It's not just what she brings as a director and a writer creatively and the sort of um, singularity and, uh, I guess, unusualness of her vision but just the experience of her as a person she brings her whole person to everything she does and she really is confronting because she asks the same of all the partners that she's working with so you really do feel like you're on the line with her that it's built on a lot of trust and without that sense of trust she can't work so it's a quite an immersive experience you got a sore gut no you act like it pains you to hit two words together so The Power of the Dog is set in Montana uh, in the US in the 20s, but it's filmed uh, in New Zealand in the South Island. Um, was the plan always to film something like this in New Zealand? Was there ever a time where you were looking at the US or Australia? We did. No, we did look at other countries. I mean, we looked very much at Montana and did a recce there. And we looked at Canada as well, was on the cards, although we didn't go too deep into Canada. It's always that balance of, you know, first and foremost, it has to be right creatively. And then you have to think, well, what's the effect on the budget and finance and can we make it? And where do the resources go? And New Zealand offered a Montana of yesteryear that contemporary Montana was not able to offer in the same way. And it also had some benefits in terms of making it as an Australian New Zealand co-production and bringing in some additional money uh, and the costs there being what they are, it just was the right equation. And Jane had a moment where she went there and she saw the dog in the mountains and felt like, uh, you know, New Zealand had called her to make it there. We took a number of shots of Montana and New Zealand and showed it to some Americans and they couldn't tell which was Montana and which was New Zealand. That was also a nice, a nice little litmus test. It was a tricky place to shoot because it's incredibly windy and you really are out in the elements all, all the time. So it was a tricky place to shoot. And we also wanted to shoot it at a time. It was very important for Jane to shoot when the grass has that gorgeous sort of golden color, um, which happens in the heat of summer in January. What do you hope audiences take away when they see this film? Well, I hope that they take away, you know, the power of, of of what is really quite unusual these days, which is a film of scale and substance that's cinem cinematic, that's epic, but that is really, in the essence, a character piece. And that balance of being a character piece with a psychodrama story and that epic cinematic uh, lens that James brings is, is, I think, pretty unique. So I think... People seem to come out feeling invigorated by cinema, invigorated by what can be made if you're bold enough to go there with a story like this and tell it in the way that it's been told. I think if people can come away slightly confused on the plot, but um, invigorated in terms of cinema and the richness of the characterization and the themes, I'll be you know, very happy.